All right, guys, so we are using uh, 18 for the sway bar links. So I'm using this ratchet 18, so you don't have to keep taking it off and moving it. I'm using a long socket here and a T40 to hold the center. So it's gonna go here. Get this in. Oh, going the wrong way. So go this way. So these sway bar links, they look really clumsy. So maybe they were long overdue. So let's see how we're gonna get this one out. So we're gonna use this side here. Gotta get a new 340. So we got this guy out. Look at this. This guy definitely has seen better days. I can feel the metal to metal on the inside. So this will be I will be replaced with these heavy duty ones so this should last probably the life of the car for the time being but yes so they're right about there actually this one goes the other way there you go so you guys can see it better but yeah I don't know if you guys can pick this up but I can hear metal to metal so that's the reason I'm changing these guys installing these big guys and we should be good for a while so let me go ahead and uh, try to remove that uh, long nut bolt from right here so this is the lowering bolt on a Corvette it's right here so now I have to lift this spring leaf up with a bottle jack or something I'm gonna see if I can use my jack and just kind of lift it up so we can separate it enough so we can unbolt and screw this one down put a new one in and bolt it back uh, I mean screw it back in I don't know how that's gonna work but uh, what I'm gonna do I'm gonna disconnect the shock as well so this drops a little bit more and uh, gives me a little bit more leverage a little more room to uh, play with so let me move this guy and the t40 i broke it so and i don't have another one so it's gonna be fun taking off the rest of these guys so all right so let me go ahead and try to uh remove the shock for a little bit all right guys this is a two-man job my dad is doing it down here with a little ratchet and i'm holding it up here so I get one of these and just wrench away. I know there's not a lot of not enough room for these strut towers, but you get three, four clicks if you're lucky. That's the way it's done. Alright guys, look, the bottom of the strut looks 13, so I'm gonna use one of these guys to come down. Okay, there it is, 13. Let's see if we can get them loose. Alright, they're coming right out. Okay, so I think there's a nut on the bottom. There is a nut on the bottom. So we're gonna do the same thing over here. So we're gonna remove this wire with the S sensor. 
and let's get a moose. This guy loose. There's a moose. So, looks like it's spinning on the bottom as well. So, we're gonna have to find a. Let's see if we can find something to hold it down. Alright, guys, so we got a shock really loose here. Uh, trying to see if I can uh, somehow compress it. But if that don't work, I'm gonna have to take this upper control arms off, swing everything to the side and uh, get the shock off out of the way. I really don't feel like doing this, but uh, let's see if we can somehow work this one out. The thing is, we don't have enough room to miss, mess with. All right guys, for an easy removal, we removed this control arm from the top and a shock slides right out. Gives you a lot of room to work on this bolt as well down here. Now we have to work on the, oh, there's some wires exposed. So now we'll work on this uh, lowering bolts. See if you can get those out of the way. And we'll put all this back up together. So now that should be, uh, should be a lot easier to work with all of this now. So. Yeah, my car is scraping all over the place. Tire is too big. All right, guys. So this is what I did with the jack. I put a little piece of wood back here. I lifted a spring leaf up. Now you have all this play. So now you can drive this bolt nut, whatever, down into your control arm and uh, remove this uh, remove this lowering bolt. So let this hang, let your suspension hang, lift the spring leaf up with the jack and watch your fingers, don't get them stuck in there because you lose them quickly. All right, fellas, so this is what I was talking about. This is my lowering bolt. So it was grinding on my uh, control arm down here on the bottom. As you guys can see right here where it's supposed to be landed. That's so look at the height difference right here. So we'll go with the new one, tighten it up, and uh, start putting this back together. But yeah, this is the one, this is the lowering one. This is about a quarter inch compared to one with like almost three quarters of an inch. The stock right height, that's what I heard. I haven't seen them yet, but yeah. These are the lowering ones, so that's why I went with the B8 Bilstein uh, shocks. They're shorter than stock, so they're gonna give me a perfect balance between this with sway bar links. So I know it's a little upgrade for the 06, but uh, I think it should be really good for the track. I'll keep you guys posted. Maybe hit the track really soon over here. All right, guys. So we have a new. Lowering bolt installed, brand new. Uh, brand new bushing. So now we're gonna lower the jack, including that little block, and this should rest back on the control arm. Okay, so now we're about to lower it slowly. Let the spring go down into the control arm where it belongs. There you go. So, now we're done with this. Let's go install the shock now. Brand new one. So, now we have to remove this little bushing from here. On top of the cover and install the brand new shock. Alright guys, so this is the Bilstein B8. Assembled in Mexico Should be a good brand Let's get this baby Hey right, guys, my apology I got all this torqued down to spec Factory spec Torqued down the bolt But not on top of the shock 
So it is taking me a little longer than I wanted to. So now I'm installing this guy right here, this shiny guy. It's gonna be sweet once everything gets tight now and torque spec. So let's put this nut on this side. Oh, this is gonna look sweet. I think, I think I'm doing the right thing, guys. Like uh, once you're upgrading, either these guys or just the shocks, make sure you get your lowering bolt as well because it plays a big role on your suspension and sliding on your control arm if it slides metal on a fi uh, carbon fiber or fiberglass whatever this spring leaf is made out of i don't think it's made out of metal but i mean it sounds like plastic and maybe carbon fiber so yeah make sure you guys torque everything down to spec all the bolts all the nuts look over like twice three times like make sure everything is bunkered up nicely all the wires are tucked in the way they're supposed to be all the brake lines everything else so yeah you know i'm really excited about these guys this is gonna be sweet exciting can't wait to uh replace three more corners so this is just one this take me about a hour and a half two hours just to do one side because i'm just doing one at a time but as soon as i get uh as soon as i get this one down lower it i mean torque everything down once the full weight is on the bottom i think uh i think we should be all right all right guys so we got a strapped caliper so you're not putting a lot of tension on the line brake line but this one is going a lot easier but you see how messed up this guy is I mean, this is totally gone. And I'm gonna need to order brand new brake lights as well. All right guys, so we got the front end done. Everything back in place. Lowering bolt, brand new shock, brand new sway bar link. Everything torqued to spec, everything looks good. I mean, now I'm gonna have to get a new braided, uh, steel braided lines. These are pretty old factory ones. You're gonna have to upgrade those before I hit the track. So those are gonna be in the mail probably next couple days. Uh, yeah, so Summit Racing did it again. So I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. If you want any more tips on this Bilstein upgrade the suspension for the Z06, uh, comment down below, hit me up, and make sure you hit, you hit that subscribe button uh, to, get more, uh, to get more content. I know it's hot out here and I'm dirty, but uh, we got it done. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.